Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iPhone XR on the iOS 18 Beta 3. My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hyped. If you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button because I keep on making these type of videos for you guys and I don't want you guys to miss these. Let's get right in today's video. Okay, so if you have watched my previous review of iPhone XR on the iOS 18 Beta 2, you guys know that iPhone XR is definitely aging and we can clearly see it because iPhone XR was never this laggy or have had any such issues that I am facing right now. Severe battery drain, a lot of bugs, performance is getting just ridiculously slow and much more. In this video, we are going to review the iPhone XR on iOS 18 Beta 3 and talk about what all things have been improved on the Beta 3 or is it the same as the beta 2 or even if it is worse let's get right into today's video if you are new here consider hitting that subscribe button because i keep on making these type of videos for you guys and i don't want you guys to miss these my name is jay and you are watching tech hype let's get right into today's video so after installing the ios 18 beta 3 first of all this update came at around 2.1 gb which is the biggest that I received on any of my phones, I don't know why, but yeah, it was really, really big. It took around one and a half hour for this update to install, which is a really long time, by the way. And uh, the phone was heated up like crazy. I never had this heating issue when updating my device and this time it was just terrible. And by the way, by this time right now, if you guys still do not know what I mean by saying that you should definitely not install iOS 18 on your iPhone XR. What are you even thinking? Just don't install it. If it is your secondary device, then you can still give a thought of installing it, even though I won't really recommend that also. But still, if it is your secondary device, you can go ahead and install it. But if it is your primary device, just please do not install it i have already talked about what's new on the ios 18 beta 3 the new keyboard the new bigger emojis and the dark mode icons are now available on third party apps as well you can watch that video i have already uploaded that link is below the like button or you can visit this channel and check that video out for more info on ios 18 beta 3 but in this one we are going to specifically talk about the ios 18 beta 3 on iphone 10r the performance after installing this update on iphone 10r the performance seems to be pretty much the same that means ridiculously slow on iOS 18 beta 3 and battery life it is too early for me to talk about battery life right now as it's not even been a proper day of me using my iPhone 10R on this update so it is a bit too early for me to judge right now but you have to subscribe and turn on notification because I will talk about battery life on my coming up follow-up video later this week of iOS 18 beta 3 on iPhone 10R. but in my first impressions and the first few hours that I have been using my iPhone 10R on this update I noticed that the battery life seems to be a little bit better compared to earlier. Not by a big margin, but just a tad bit better compared to earlier. Also, if you are short on storage, after installing this update, I got a whopping 500 MBs back. <laughs> I know, I, I'm just making it seem like it is a lot, but it is not. But yeah, it is better than just taking more storage on your device, right? you will get around 500 to 700 MBs back after installing this update on your device. I would only suggest you guys to install this update on your iPhone XR if you are already on iOS 18 beta version. If you are not on iOS 18, just stay away and don't install it on your device. It definitely will make your device a lot slower and overheating issues is just getting out of hands. By that, I really mean out of hands. You can't properly hold your device because it is so hot in conclusion the ios 18 beta 3 seems to be a pretty nice update in terms of stability and bug fixes there are a lot of bug fixes on this update but in general the performance and all seems to be pretty much the same so don't really have high hopes from it anyways thank you so much for watching this video till the end 
please make sure to hit that subscribe button because I keep on making these type of reviews for you guys and I don't want you guys to miss these. Let me know down in comments below, are you using an iPhone XR? And if you are using your iPhone XR, what version of iOS are you using? And if you're using iOS 18, what all issues and things are you encountering? I will love to talk about it. And next video, I will make sure to mention your comment in that video. Peace out and have a great day, everyone. And I will catch you guys in the very next episode.